Hey guys, this is a Zeiss icon that I got from Adrian Weber. He gave it to me when I passed through Frankfurt on my way down here to uh, to Africa. Anyway, this is uh, uh, priced at uh, 26.8 euros. Really nice lock. Gave me the box. I got three keys with it. Uh, brand new. Um, just a super lock, but when you look at it, you'll notice, first of all, it's very, very heavy. And secondly, as you start to inspect it, you'll notice there's there's no indication of the number of pins on the bottom of this thing. It's just, I think it was machined right into it. There's no indication whatsoever. In fact, not only are there no way to get access to the pins from the bottom, but there's no way to remove uh, the cores from this thing. There's no C-clips. There are no hidden screws or anything in there. No compression fittings to take out. So. I think when they assembled the, this Zeiss Icon lock, they never intended for it to be taken apart. There's just no, no way to do maintenance on this thing. Anyway, it uh, has what appears to be a Yale keyway, uh, but it's, it's actually quite tight, I discovered. this. I'm going to try to pick it here in a moment, but this won't be the first time. It took me quite a while to try to figure these out. They're, they're quite complex. In fact, uh, let's just first take a look at the lock. So here's what the key looks like. So we got a little bit of a challenge. We got some low pins that we have to crawl under to get access to this thing. Uh, again, brand new. Adrian gave me this brand new in the box, so it's absolutely perfect. It does have a serial number engraved on the side here, which I suppose by no coincidence is the same serial number on the key. And by the way, these keys are solid steel. They're not uh, brass like most, you know, brass with chrome coating. These are solid steel keys. I think meant to last a very very long time just like this uh, very well made lock anyway let's see if we can explore some ways to get into this and I'll try to explain what I've learned so that uh, maybe you can get into it too uh, I've picked some of these before and what I've noticed about the Zeiss Icon locks are that there are of course it has security pins uh, but it also has uh, two normal pins and so when we begin to feel around inside of there, yeah, there's going to be binding pins and all of that. But until we get those two normal pins, pins clear of the shear line, we're not going to be able to play with those two with the uh, remaining security pins. So the trick is to find the the normal pins and get them out of our way first, and that way we can get our fault set. Now on this and the other two Zeiss Icon locks that I have. The normal pins are located in position number two and position number five. So we could go right to them, but let's just pretend like we're picking this for real. So we'd go in there and just start feeling for the binding pin. And in this case, it does happen to be pin two. It starts to bind up. So I'll set him. And then I continue to work my way to the rear. Looking for another binding pin. And in this case, I'm going to come to pin five. And I don't know if it's coincidence, but it seems like those normal ones I can get under them here, uh, are the ones that bind first and you can see you probably heard it click over. We now have our fault set. Well now I'm going to screw up. Now I'm going to release the fault set and show you a faster way. Uh, you can sometimes get a fault set. Now before I do that you probably notice I'm using a, a, a very thin pick. Uh, brand doesn't matter but it's 15 thousandths of an inch thick and that's because it has to be that then to get into these very tight Zeiss Icon keyways. If you try to use anything thicker, you're just not going to be able to get in there and feel the pins. Okay, the other way to get a fault set, of course, we can kind of zip it. You put a little bit of tension and you can just kind of rake it. And sometimes you can rake up a fault set pretty quick. Sometimes faster than finding those binding pins. So there you go. We got it. We got it. Uh, the two normal pins have cleared the shear line. Now we need to go in and start messing around with those security pins. All right. So again, with the same pick, I'm just going to go in there and start feeling around until we start to get some feedback, which will tell me it's either a mushroom or it's going to be a, a, a spool. So let's see what we got here. It's not pin one. It's not pin three. Okay, it feels like pin four, and I'm getting a little bit of feedback. If you can look at my finger, it's very slight. And I think the reason on these ice is the reason it's so slight is because of the, they are very finely machined with extremely tight tolerances. So there's not a lot of play. So you got to be a little bit sensitive with your left finger to feel it. So let's try to set him. Again, if you release too much pressure, everything will fall down. Come on, baby. Mm, 
Okay, I keep slipping off of the pin, but I will get it. Well, not quite positioned right. Very slippery with this. These, these really thin picks, they, they kind of give a little bit, and that's the downside of using them. They don't give you a whole lot of good solid feedback. So you got to make sure that the pick is positioned absolutely perfectly before you release that tension. And now I've slid under the pin. Let's try that again. There we go. We got him. Okay, so I'm feeling around looking to see who the next trick or security pin is. And let's see what we got here. Okay, it's not pin one. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of feedback from pin three, so let's try to set him. And there we go. Okay, fellas. Open. It's a five-pin Zeiss icon. Uh, it isn't as hard as you might think, but because of the uh, extreme precision in the manufacture of these, you really got to be careful with that tension. Pay attention uh, to that left finger, or whatever your tension finger is, more than you usually do, because the amount of feedback you're going to get is not as great as what we're used to in some of the less precision locks. But once you figure out that feel, and you, once you clear the normal pins from the, the uh, shear line, and you get used to that reduced amount of feel, I think you're going to be picking these ice icons very, very quickly. Anyway, thanks for your time. Everybody stay safe. And from here in Brazzaville, Congo, I'll see you later. Stay legal, guys. Bye.